The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Very nice, wonderful hospitality here uh, in, in before North Carolina. Chuck Benson sits down, sees a Reese's Nut Rageous, <laughs> and just starts That's, salivating. He's going back to Jefferson City with us. <laughs> it, it will be, but it will be in yeah. my possession. Oh, okay, okay, fair enough. You can have enough. the pretzels. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. This is the Dodgers Post Game Report. I'm Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman Head. Men's Hoops coach Chuck Benson. Chuck, a solid outing, really one glaring issue, and that was the turnover bug. But uh, first half is an impressive run as you've had 24-4, to uh, jetted out to a 20-point lead, and then uh, kept the Tornadoes at that margin for pretty much yeah. the entirety of the game. How would you do it especially early? Well, you know, coming over here, uh, we were coming into a, a, a really tough situation. Uh, Rivarda got on the road and went at, at Tuscaloosa, and then on the road and went at Catawba, and and we're playing with a lot of uh, just a lot of good mojo. Come over here, this is the best crowd I've seen since I've been coming here. That's the yeah. best crowd, uh, and involves kind of student section, and, and I just thought it was stacked against us. When and on top of that, you include that Mason Bates is out with the concussion. Jared Johnson was not going to play. And, and just because he's a tough guy and, and told me, man, look, I'm, I'm going to try to gut this thing out. We, we, we need some leadership. So we had a lot of stacked against us. But having said that, our guys came out with a great deal of focus on our, on our report. They had some individual goals they had set atop, and, and on top of our scouting report. And I thought we came out tonight with, with a great deal of, uh, of just intensity and, and desire to get this thing taken care of and perform at a level that would lead to a win. We see Ryan Jones really perform well yeah. as a pure point guard. First time since 2011. And Bradley Toomer, oh, yes. a team or a player with 10 assists. Ryan Jones finishes with 10, not to mention five points and five rebounds. What about the job he did well, distributing? We, we've been thinking all along that he had the ability to do that. And we've been encouraging him. Obviously, he's a freshman. And um, and it's, it's hard, man. It's hard when you're a freshman to come in and, and really be as productive as you are like your last year in high school. Mm-hmm. But I thought tonight was a great opportunity, and, and I think he's, I thought he sort of broke out of his shell. His confidence ought to be high after that. And, and a lot of that goes back to he gets the assist and he made the pass, but then he's got teammates that caught the ball and finished play. So everybody has a part of that, but I'm really happy for Ryan because uh, 10 assists is a big night. It's, it's, a, it's a really big night for him. A rare thing hasn't happened a ton. Uh, on top of that, your posts absolutely dominant. Carson Brooks and Sawyer Williams finish with 16 and 15 respectively. They combined to go 13 of 17 from the field. What enabled you to be successful or so successful down on the low blocks? Well, I think our.